Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to go over a new bag today. It's a shoulder bag, transporter style. It's from Think Tank. It's a Retrospective 20 V2. It's pretty nice. Got a, uh, like a canvas outer shell to it. Nice, comfortable shoulder pad. Carry on the strap. It's very thick. Little grippies on there hold on to your shoulder. Carry it like this if you want. Carry it across your chest like this if you wish. Easy access to all your gear on the inside of the quick pull up of the cover. Keep everything nice and dry and clean when you're going through town just for your day out. Now, I do apologize. I might not be able to show as well as I normally do for other bags and stuff. It is 10 degrees out today. So we'll just go right into it. Go through the outside of the bag. So we'll start from the side. Got a little pocket to put a drink in if you want. This is a pretty big bottle. You can probably fit an algae in there comfortably. Now if you're done and you don't want it anymore, it does have a little foot to push up. Has a little bit of Velcro on the inside there to hold it up. Hold it like this. These external Velcro bits will hold it shut and just latch the hook over top. It holds it pretty tight against the body so you don't have it flopping around and stuff for you. So then we'll go to the back side. Now, if you're putting this on, like your luggage to go through an airport and stuff, there's a little slot right here to put your uh, luggage handle through if you have the wheeled luggage. You have a little zipper on the back side underneath where it says the name Retrospective 20 V2. Just unzip it. Zippers are very easy to grab with gloves for the most part. They're very durable. You don't have to worry about making them break or anything accidentally. Put in the back pocket, I keep my Wacom editing tablet with the wires and everything. It does have a little handle on top. If you wanted to not use this, just use a little handle. It's very sturdy. It's not going to fray. Not, nothing's going to come off. The stitching is well done. It's not. It's not just going to fall apart in six months like you'd get from like Walmart or something. Now, for the front bit here, you have these giant Velcro bits on the front. That is for the main cover, so that if you want, just take those off, and you can tuck them up underneath there. There's a little pocket you can shove them up in on both sides if you wanted. Then if you close it, it has a good Velcro to it, get it open so nothing spills out accidentally. Or what you could also do, if you don't want the Velcro to hold the top part on, close like this. You can put stuff into the pockets, like camera batteries, triple A's, double A's, small wires, stuff like that that you want easy, quick access to at your desk. And for the very front pocket, a little Velcro to hold it shut if you wish. And if you want, you can also just tuck this down in. You don't have to have it attached with the Velcro. Now you have a pretty deep pocket here. You could probably fit like a film camera in there or like a thin mirrorless. But I keep all my cords that I want access to that I use all the time. Laptop charger. I have my long 3.5 millimeter jack. ND filter. A couple other stuff. And then inside, kind of like um, a backpack, you can see in there. There's another little small compartment, and there's a little, there's a couple little other compartments in here. I keep my spare battery, whoop, spare battery in there, fits perfect. There's another zippered compartment on top. I keep my card reader in there, the card reader cable, my external hard drive, keep that in there. The more important stuff that I don't use all the time. I do not want to lose no matter what, like my Apple Thunderbolt USB 3 adapter, keep that in there. 
Keep it always zippered close so you don't lose anything. Get a couple slots in there for pens if you wish. Honestly, you can fit a lot of stuff in the front here. You can put your snacks in there if you're on the go, that kind of stuff. And then we have the top part of the upper part of the cover, shall we say. Now, there's a little compartment here you could put stuff in if you want to, but really, it's designed to put this zippered compartment cover on. So, for that, I'm not a huge fan of this part. It's kind of a pain, but the zipper doesn't like to go around this bend here, so I just zipper it like 99% of the way instead of all the way over here. It's hard to get unzippered again. But, unzipper the top. Usually, I just leave this uh, unzippered. And then there's a little piece of Velcro it goes onto the Velcro above it so that whenever you open it, it opens the whole bag for you. And then this bag does come with a rain fly, and that's probably where it should go. Keep your rain fly in there, but I don't really use the rain fly, it just takes up unnecessary space, it makes the bag bulky. Now if I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna need a rain fly, I'm just gonna take my Think Tank uh, backlight 36 liter bag. I'm not gonna take this. This is for like home and office, around town, getting on the train, subway, local flights, nothing big. You're not going to carry anything huge with it. Now for the internal compartments, I have my 150 to 600 Sigma here with the FTZ adapter. Fits in one side pretty nicely. Then I also have on the other side a little adapted 50 millimeter Canon FD lens just for fun. And then my microphone that I'm using now, the field recorder, and my Nikon Z7 II with the attached 24-70 f4 fit on this side perfectly fine, right to the top. There is a laptop compartment in the back side. Put my MacBook Air in there. Fits great. I even have notes for other videos in the future in there too, so I can look over those. And if you want, there's a little Velcro flap that go over top of your laptop to hold it in place if you wish. And that just goes down in there like that. But with how I have my divider set up, it kind of just gets in the way. So I just leave it unattached and there's a Velcro on the inside to attach it so it stays out of your way. But the inside of the bag is very cavernous. You can fit a good amount of uh, equipment in there if you wish, especially smaller to standard zoom lens, prime lenses and stuff. It does come with an extra divider, so you can put two dividers for three separate compartments, but for what I use with the 150-600 and the uh, 24 to 70 and the microphone and stuff are on the go, I don't, I don't really have a use for the third compartment. And smaller lenses I just put in the front pocket. That's usually where the 50 FD lives. You also have like a little lanyard here if you want to put like your work ID on or keys or something like that. Now it is plastic. It's not it's not metal, but it feels pretty sturdy. So if you're gonna put your lanyard for your work ID on there, flash the building to get in on the reader, in you go. It's great for that if you need to use it. There's also another compartment on the front side mirroring, semi-mirroring the uh, laptop compartment on the back side. I just use this for like my lens hoods and stuff, filter rings, things that I don't really need all the time. So if I'm walking down the street doing street photography or something, I put all the stuff in here like lens hoods and whatnot. It works good for that. But really that's about it to it. It's very sturdy. The zippers are nice. There's a couple different sizes to this if you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. But it works for what I use it for. And I really enjoy having a small bag to pick up and go every day without carrying a giant backpack everywhere. And this only weighs, I don't know, six, seven pounds fully loaded for what I have in it right now. And it doesn't really hurt your shoulder. You can go long distances with it. You don't really notice it. Even with a uh, thin t-shirt on, the strap's pretty comfortable. I expect this to last five to ten years easily if you take care of it. You don't just throw it around willy-nilly like it's a five dollar item. So it is kind of pricey. I think on Amazon and B&H and Adorama they're about $170, $180.
I'll put uh, an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And maybe in a year or two I'll make another video to this to show how well it, uh, it aged. So if this video is at all helpful for you, please subscribe to my channel. I have more gear reviews coming up, wildlife, all that stuff. And uh, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, any thoughts, opinions you might have on the bag. If you've had it before, what do you think about it? Let me know. And that's it. Good luck. Happy shooting. I'll see you out there.